know that there's someone in the crowd who knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so those of you who have come here having no idea what you've come to see or who it is, now you know. <laughs> here we are in the heart of London, and it is the heart of this little warehouse. Mr. Fezziwig himself cares very much for his employees and their relatives and friends and their friends, and they all come, just as you have, to the party, Christmas Eve. This little warehouse in London itself is at the heart of an empire upon which the sun never sets. Think of it. Extraordinary. And when you came here this morning, speaking of hearts, you think to come with your heart full. It is the season, you know. And perhaps men and women are inclined to open up their shut-up hearts a bit more freely, to look upon those beneath them as if they really were fellow travelers, and not some other race of creatures on other journeys. <laughs> Did you think to look about you on your way? Do it now, if you will. Look, just look to your right and left. There you'll see right next to you the characters in life. They are characters, all of them, and of course, the truth then is you too are a character. I, sir, I have my favorites, and I, I hope you do too. Those who are very close to your hearts. I'd like to share a few of mine, perhaps. Here, another family. I think we might all recognize Bob Cratchit and Mrs. Cratchit. The children, the little tiny team. Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. God bless us. God bless us. God bless us, everyone. Ah. Oh. And here, Bob's employer. <laughs> Credit! Yes, sir. You'll be wanting all day tomorrow, I suppose. Oh, it's quite convenient, sir. It's not convenient. And it's not fair. If I was to hold back half a crown for it, you'd consider yourself ill-used, I'll be bound. But you don't consider me ill-used for paying a day's wages for no work. It is just one day here, sir. Well, that's a poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. Still, I suppose you must have the whole day. Thank you, Mr. Scrooge. I'll, I'll, I'll be here early on Boxing Day. I'll, I'll have a Merry Cri Christmas. Oh. Merry Christmas. Out of our Merry Christmas. If I could work my will, every idiot who went about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled with his own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. He should! Ooh. Help me with Mr. Scrooge Merry Christmas. This fellow fares. Uh, I must remember to introduce you to our host in this place, Mr. Fezziwig himself. Oh. Oh. Here we are, my boys, gentlemen and gents. It's Christmas up with the shutters. Our guests are about to arrive. Uh -huh. Indeed they are. And you are the first among them. May I welcome you to Christmas Eve in the city of London. <laughs> What I tell you about embarrassing me in front of her. What are you smiling at? 
Nothing, Mr. Sykes. Nothing, Mr. Sykes. Mr. Sykes, Mr. Sykes, I told you about your mystery. Nothing but mischief when you get into your mystery and your old skeleton. Mischief, bit. You be treating her like a rotten doll. It's good. Oliver Twist! Oliver Twist! Ever since Oliver Twist come around, it's Bill this and Fagin that and everything. And this one, wild as a cat. Hey, you should have lost that boy. You should have never lost him. Lost him. Get in, get your work, Bill, with your lazy needs. Your mind has gone crazy, Bill. My mind's gone crazy. I'll leave with you. Uh, you two deserve each other. He's the right man by him, that one. Oh, you ain't so bad. He ain't so bad. He won't even let you get out of here, my dear. You know, you know Faggy loves you, right? You know Faggy loves you. Good old Faggy. Oh, I know Faggy. I know. I love you too, Faggy. I ain't do nothing wrong to you. Never. And you remember the code, my dear, right? Never peach on the family, my dear, right? Oh, I never peach on you, Faggy. That's right, Nancy, and I would never peach on you. I would never do anything to harm you, my dear. I have an idea, my dear. Why don't you get some air? I won't tell Bill. I'm sure you're up to, to good, my dear. No evil in that bone, no evil in that bone. Oh, none at all. You're a good one, baby. You're a good one. That's right, my dear, that's right. Mischief, I smell it everywhere. I smell it everywhere. Get to work! Oh, <laughs> oh you enjoy it, eh? You enjoy it? <laughs>
in the presence of the ghost of Christmas yet to come. You are here to show me the things that have not happened, but that will happen in the time before us. Is that so, Spirit? Ghost of the future, I fear you more than any spectre I have yet met. But as I know your purpose is to do me good, and as I hope to live to be a different man from what I was, I am willing to bear you company, and do it with an open heart. Will you not speak to me? Lead on, spirit, for the night is waning fast, and I know that it is precious time to me. Lead on.
spirit. I am not the man I was. I will not be the man I must have been but for this intercourse. Why do you show me these things if I am past all hope? Good spirit. Your nature intercedes for me at pity spirit. Assure me that I yet may change these shadows you have shown me by an altered life. I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. I will live in the past, in the present, and in the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me, and I will not shut out the lessons they will teach. You tell me I may sponge away the writing on this stone. I will. Heaven and the Christmas tide be thanked for this. Jacob Molly, I thank you on my knees. On my knees, Jacob Molly. Down. They are not torn down, rings and all. They are here. I am here. The shadows of things that might have been can be changed. They will be. I know they will. I don't know what to do. I, I am. I am as light as a feather, I am as happy as an angel, I am as merry as a schoolboy, I am as giddy as a drunken man. <laughs> Hello! A Merry Christmas to everyone, and a Happy New Year to all the world. <laughs> There's the pan that the gruel was in. And there's the corner with a ghost of Christmas presents. It's all right. It's all real. It all happened. Never mind. I'd rather be a baby. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello! Hello! You there, my fine fellow. What's today? Today? Yes. It's Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day. I haven't missed it. The spirits have done it all in one night. Well, they can do anything they like. Of course they can. Of course they can. Oh, hello, my fine fellow. Tell me, do you know the poulterer in the next street but one at the corner? You should know by then. What a remarkable boy. What a delightful boy. Tell me, do they still have the prize turkey hanging there? Not the little prize turkey, the big one. The one as big as me? Yes, my buck. Is it? Go and buy it. No, no, no. I am in earnest. Go and buy it and tell them to bring it here that I may give them direction where to send it. Come back with the man. I'll give you a shilling. Come back with him in less than five minutes. I'll give you half a crown. I'll send it to Bob Catchings. It's twice as big as Tiny Tim. He won't know who sent it. There's never been a joke as good as sending it to Bob Cratchit. Hello. Can you see me? <laughs> then a very happy Christmas to you, my good man. Can you see me, my Happy Christmas to you. Thank you.